All right, uh, just wanted to show you something real quick. It's a cool little device I got. Uh, if you wanted to play your old cartridges, not just ROMs, well, technically ROMs, but uh, the actual physical cartridges on your Shield TV. Uh, this was done on an Ouya, but I had a little problem with this. I needed to root for this. Um, needed to root with stick mount, or it wouldn't let me do this. But uh, works fine on PC, but uh, could not do it without root and stick mount. Uh, but yeah, so you have to sideload that. Here's Streets of Rage 2, and you can plug this in here, and it's seen as mass storage uh, or a storage device on your Shield uh, TV. And I'm going to now. So now it's mounting it. Stick mount is actually mounted. Ooh, and you can also use the original controllers. But stick mount is now mounting the game as I plugged it in. And uh, I'm going to get a little of that light. So now, now that I plug that in, I can now look for it. it uh, the device is called the Retro 2. And like I said, you can... Friggin' hell. Uh, you can use your... Um, let me just zoom out. Oh, I'm not zoomed in. Okay. Um, you can use your original... Uh, one other, one other thing here. I gotta fix the, the brightness on the TV. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Make it a little easier. All right. So, what was I talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I'm always talking about something. I did it again, dumbass. Uh, but yeah, so I can actually go ahead and hit. This is the newest build that I installed uh, on the Retro Arc website. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, whatever. So I hit select file, detect core. I go to this, I select storage emulated zero, whatever. Then I go, I hit up once, and now down there it says USB storage. That's where stick mount has mounted the retro. And I hit the wrong button, and it brings me back to the wrong menu again, as I always do in this emulator. Okay, so now it says retro right there. I click click on retro, and apparently it says no name dot <laughs> whatever. I guess that's the name of the ROM on it on there, and uh, I hit the emulator I want to play it with. So I select, I select that. It normally takes a little while to load up. Uh, and there it goes. And now it's loaded up from the cartridge. And it's Streets of Rage 2. And also with this, of course, you can actually rip the ROM straight from the cartridges and save them and all that fun stuff. Okay, so let's go... And, uh, we'll just hit one player. I don't care. And then, of course, you can play with all your, uh, filters and all that bullshit. Or you can make it more retro with, like, you know, not stretching it out and, uh, throwing some, uh, other type of filters on it. Like, or, not filters. Like, scan lines and shit. Or sh the shaders and filters. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, so, and you could do this with a uh, original controller. There are ports on the retro to plug in your original controllers. And there are adapters you can get for other types of other games. Uh, so you can get an N64 adapter. And I did test out the 32X, and it worked. So I can play 32X games. And I'm just going to get out of here. And I'm going to show you the 32X working. Uh, if I can remember how to navigate the menus. Alright. So we're going to leave that up. 
I'm going to bring you back over here. Try to go over there. So this big mess of stuff I put over here just for this video. Uh, and if I can remember what the heck I did. Oh, there it is. Come on, sir. Be right back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here is the 32X adapter with the Virtual Racing Deluxe game in it. I put the game in first because I don't want to apply a lot of pressure on the 32X when it's in there and then push it back like that. So I put it in before I insert the 32X adapter into the Retro 2. And I just spit on the 32X. So, I'm pull the, the Streets of Rage. And this does, in fact, fit. I didn't think it was going to fit because of that uh, dust cover thing on the back. But it does, in fact, fit in there. Like that. And now it's going to, again, mount storage. So it's i got to wait for that to finish mounting. So, well, there's going to be a lot of toast notifications or whatever. And once that's done... I'm going to load up the game from the cartridge. Okay. And we hit load. Uh, load content. I'm going to also show you the Sega Genesis actually navigate, using the Sega Genesis controller to navigate the actual uh, system itself, the OS. I had a little trouble with uh, using the Sega Genesis controller with the games. It was a little finicky trying to get it to work and map uh, correctly. So it's just like, ah, screw it. But you can, you know, put a little work into it. I'm sure you can figure it out. I figured it out. It was just a pain in the ass. So here we are again. And there's Virtual Racing Deluxe from 32X. We load it up. Select appropriate emulator, Pico Drive, which supports 32X games. And like I said, it takes a little while to load up. There it is, playing 32X games. And, uh, yeah. Virtual racing. Like I said, you can also get adapters. Let me just lower that a bit. You can also get adapters for the N64 and for other consoles. I don't think in Nintendo, uh, the NES, I don't think you can use that. I'm quite sure they haven't figured that one out yet. And I don't know if they ever will. I hope that would be cool if they did. But I don't... I don't know. It just seems like they're having problems with the NES. Uh, however, like I said, you, obviously I'm doing 32X. Um, there's N64. And I'm trying to think. There's also schematics on uh, online for you to build your own adapters and stuff. So you can actually build your own. I think there... What is there? Um the hell is it? I think they have uh, Turbo Graphics and uh, <clears throat> some other cool ones, uh, if I can remember. There's what? Do, what do they have? There, there's something. <laughs> you can do something. I think there's Game Gear. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, for you to build yourself. You, you, I guess the idea would be that you would find a not working console and. Uh, take the uh, cart or, you know, do something with the cart. I don't, I don't do that stuff. I don't, like, I'm not a soldering person. Or, I've done it before, but it's not. I did a shitty-ass job, and I just hated it, and, you know, I don't normally do those things, but there's some, you know, I guess you extract the cart port somehow, and you're able to, uh, you know, solder it onto a board or whatever with these plans. And then you can have more support for more systems and things. But it's a uh, it's work. <laughs> work that I don't wanna you know do. Yeah. So all work sucks. So anyways. Uh yeah, so what the hell I'm trying to think of what else they have. They have other systems I thought were cool, but like I, I wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> um hmm. Oh, Virtual Boy. They had Virtual Boy, I believe. So, 
It's some stuff. You know, then for sale they have a uh, Master System, like I said, the N64. I think there's Game Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, whatever. And like I said, you can use the 32X, obviously, that, which I'm doing right now. And there's also Super Nintendo, which, by the way, I'm going to show that to you right now. I couldn't get any old generic, like, uh, Master System adapter to work. I have this kind of little bullshit uh, Master Gear, convert, uh, Master System, whatever, converter thingy. And I use that on my Retron 5, and it works just fine, but it would not work with this. So I guess you got to get the one they have. I guess there's something to it that you need. So, I'm going to pull the 32X out of the system. And I'm going to pop in a uh, Super Nintendo game. If I can actually find where I can get a Super Nintendo game. I just had one. Where did it go? Very unorganized over here. Oh, it's right there. Ah, right in front of my face. Okay. Let me just bring you back over here and show you the... This is the Super Nintendo port that it comes with. So... The Super Nintendo in there. Oh, back, you gotta put it in backwards. Okay. And I guess... I don't know if you could put two in at a time. I don't know. I don't know if it sees it as two different things. I have no clue. But I know that... I can pop a Super Nintendo game in there. It should work. Yeah. Okay. So let's see if this, this finds it because it did not actually... Oh, it didn't give me any notifications or anything. So, let's see here. Let's see what we have. Nope, it's actually seeing that. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can reset this. Um, all right. That again. Did it, uh, do its thing. That would be, it's a little fidgety apparently. Had to re unplug it and replug it back in. So that didn't. That was a little annoying. It didn't uh, switch switch out. Good stuff. Try a little while. Oh, come on. And there we go. Killer Instinct. Uh, the Super Nintendo. And again, it's going to take a little while to actually load. Tra la 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 Oh, and just remember, you know, it'd be cool. You can bring up the share features and, you know, stream to Twitch straight from a cart. Be interesting. An interesting concept. Uh, I suck at this game, so I'm going to, like, turn it into a big puss fest, put it on easy. Turn it on that. Yeah, I suck. <laughs> oh, let me turn this up a little. see if I can actually get, uh, there's a way to turn up the volume in, of the game in here, if I can remember how, um, settings, audio, oh, it's all the way up to 10, I think that's as high as it goes, oh well, I guess it's just my TV or my soundbar or whatever, so, we'll do whatever, whatever, who cares, Her. Uh, 
forgot how to... Oh, I thought it was fucking up. I suck. <laughs> I'm just fucking banging on buttons because I blow ass at this game. Shut up. Fucking DJ, whatever combo. I'm almost dead. You don't have to fucking watch this for too long. Right? Fuck! Oh well, what are you gonna do? I suck. Anyways, I just wanted to show that. Uh, is so you can actually plug in cartridges and play them off of the shield uh, TV. Now I'm gonna clean this area up. <laughs> Thank you for watching.